external rotation in side lying. It has to be done side lying, not standing with a band. If you're standing with a band, gravity is going that way and then you're going across gravity this way. In the side lying on the ground, you're now going against gravity and you're lying, which is going to translate to the bench where you're going to be lying. So it's very specific that when I'm setting this up in a rehab, it's lap pull, but side lying external rotation. Now the cue is, as Danny's already doing, pulling her shoulder blade down towards her butt. By doing that, the lat, which is already activated, is now excited and it's helping to pull the shoulder girdle down. Although it attaches onto the humerus, there's a hard, large percentage of people actually have lat fibers that come from the scapula. But the depression of the shoulder girdle will create the lat stability. Now, Danny, if you can externally rotate to horizontal, that's it, and down to the waist. Enjoy, that's a tough weight, two kilograms in this exercise. So. The important thing is not so much the rotation, it's the setup. It's the fact you're getting your scapula pulled down towards your butt, you're fixing it in this position, then externally rotating in a small range. Remember, in the bench, there's not a whole lot of movement really happening in rotation. So all I need to do is get the external rotators, the teres, the infraspinatus, stabilizing, preparing that they're going to load. Now we're doing that off, that lat activation. Of course, we're going to have the lat activation included in creation of the arch. So, exciting the lat to stabilize the shoulder girdle, adding in external rotation, then we take that to the bench. Repetitions on these exercises are around about 15. Thanks, Danny. How's that feel?